What's up guys? Today I would like to share my experience with a lock wiper software that would help you to unlock your screen uh, lock within three steps. It's really easy, effective and fast. So it supports all iOS versions and they have it available for Windows and Mac both. And we would use Mac today, so we need to download it first. Then, when it's over, we need to install it. Let's go ahead and open it. Then, um, agree with the license agreement and install it till the end. And whenever it's finished, uh, we would go to the next step and I would guide you through all this process. All right, that finished installing. So let's see. We would need an um, unlock screen passcode. Let's close it. They also have the option to unlock Apple ID and lock screen time passcode and bypass model device management. Today's video is about unlocking screen passcode. So hit that one and then let's see the screen passcode we can match it we kind of don't know it if you forgot it or you bought a new phone and it has a lock so let's start uh, connect your device to your PC then hit next And then we will need to download a software, the newest version. And it does take a while, so I'm speeding up the video a little bit. Then we would wait till 100%. And it failed. It has two reasons. Uh, one is that the internet connection was failed. And the other one is that we run out of the memory space and looks like we didn't have a connection at that moment. So it's very fine this the firmware for the phone. And then it has been downloaded. We need to extract it. It takes some time too, so I'm speeding up it again. And we would need to start unlocking it. So we need to turn off the phone, enter the DFU mode. If it's a newest version of the phone, you would need to press volume up button, then the volume down button, and then the home button. You would need to hold it. Then we would need to enter six zeros. And it will start removing sc screen lock. But make sure you don't need anything important on the phone because it would erase all the data on it. Then this is the longest process, so I'm speeding up it more. And it's completed. So let's see what's happening here. You would need to set up the phone as a new phone from the very beginning then uh, connect to the Wi-Fi network if you don't have Wi-Fi network you would need to connect to your PC again and then hit next go through all the steps it's not necessary then create your own passcode we would do all once and don't transfer data don't use Apple ID and accept terms and conditions continue Basically, all the steps you usually go through when you're setting up your new phone. 
So the old basket was removed and voila.